Hello and welcome everyone to another episode on Drawing and Dragons. This week, I promise, I'm doing something actually very different than what I usually do. I'm taking my D&D world, a specific region of it at least, and I'm going to be remaking it in Civilization VI uh, to the point where it can become a playable map using their slightly improved world builder. Um, so I'm going to be taking this here map, okay? And I'm actually only going to be taking this region, all right, so it's sort of that more central area because those three countries, including the one my players are currently in, Nosfari, I'm going to be taking that region because those are like the big powerhouses of the area. Um, the other powerful countries aren't like until further south, really. So these are kind of the big countries in the area, and there's a lot of conflict between them. And so I thought it would make a fun civilization map. Um, so... It's going to be very fast, very sped up, because it was a couple hours to make this whole map. Um, the three or the four main steps of making a map is first off to kind of plan what you want. Then you need to create the land territory of the map. Then you need to change what that land is. So if you want grasslands, plains, desert, t tundra, and so on. And then you need to add resources to it, right? And that part really truly takes the most. So some parts are going to be a little bit more sped up. Other parts won't be as much. Let's get to it. Before I get any further, don't forget to give a like and a, a subscription, but especially a like. It makes me feel a lot better. Thank you. All right, so for this first part here, you can see I am taking my previously made maps of Hyrand, which is the northern, very wide country, and the Nosfari, uh, the western country. And so I'm going to be cutting out, kind of drawing, um, using the lasso tool in Photoshop. I'm going to be taking the good part of Nosfari that I need and cutting that out and putting it onto the Hyrand map. I do have to resize it a little bit because the Nosfari map is slightly zoomed in, so I do have to make Hyrand a little bit bigger or make Nosfari a little bit smaller. Um, so you can see I'm kind of messing with the sizes here. And then once I've got it pretty good, my goal is that you can get all three of these countries in the same picture. So that is the ideal. And I should be able to do that in this rough rectangular size. And this rectangular size is about the right shape for civilization maps. Um, because they do specifically come in sort of a about a 10 to 6 ratio of width to height. So when if you do want to make a civilization map, keep that in mind that you're going to want to make sure you have your right aspect ratio. And I honestly feel like I did almost kind of wrong just because high rend ends up feeling way too big. And you'll see that in my video, I think, a little bit further on. Uh, but now I'm drawing Brevtensa, kind of where the borders are there, the Gukol down in the south, um, the Twentuk and Twentik Islands over on the right, and then just barely you can see on the other side is Hypenian Minor. So I'm just mainly going through and kind of figuring out where things are going to be, what the terrain will be like. Uh, I never actually have drawn Brevtensa yet. It's only the one of the three that I have not drawn through. And so here we go. It's time. We're going to go pretty fast. If you do suffer motion sickness, you may want to be careful and just listen to the supple sounds of my voice instead of trying to watch all this. First off, remember, what, like I said, the first step is you need to decide the size of your landmass and the shape of your landmass. So I'm going through, I did sort of a big, just broad strokes, and now I'm uh, doing a little bit more tweaking and direct tailoring of how I want it to look. The hardest part here was the Nomen Saw Sea. Trying to figure out, it's the sea in the middle, um, and trying to figure out where exactly it's located in relation to the other two seas on the left and right, making sure it's wide enough so that Nosferi and Brevtensa aren't too thin, but also not too wide, making sure it's up and down enough so that way um, the bottom part Brevtensa and the top part of higher are the right size. I ended up actually getting it wrong and have to sort of move some of the tiles down. But now you can see I'm already in the second portion here. Uh, this this is, again, the first step is very fast. So this part, I am deciding the terrain. Um, I always think mountains are the most important thing, and mountains usually define uh, where the borders of regions are. And so I decided to do mountains first instead of anything else, just because that helped me, when I'm making this map, better decide where everything else is. So I've got lots of mountains on this map. I know a lot more than most other civilization maps. This part is actually a bonus step. Um, I am going through and drawing where all the countries are, because in Civilization VI you can do a continent filter, and you can kind of see which con continent is where. And I know these aren't technically different continents, they're all part of a mega continent called Hypenian Major, but I decided I was going to go through and actually put them out, because it's kind of cool, because then when you're playing you can say like, oh, I'm taking this part of Hyrand, or I'm taking this part of Nosferi. So I thought that was kind of a cool little thing to do. And when I named them, or chose the names of the different continents, I tried to choose ones that were either similar or at least started with a similar letter. Um, but once again, going through doing more features. So I'm, I'm doing more like grass, uh, more hills, more 
um, plains areas, and then I eventually do get into the rivers. And I will say that now I, I did try playtesting my map. I think I need to add a couple more rivers and a couple areas. I noticed that when I was playing, there was a couple areas that really didn't have enough rivers, I would say, was the, was the problem. Um, there's a lot of dry areas, especially in the northern parts of uh, Brev Tensa, which there should be rivers there. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to go through and just fix that very briefly, but I don't do that in this video. All right, so you can see, again, I'm, I'm adding the jungle, I'm adding the forest. This is... This is pretty easy. You just kind of go by all the rivers, and then I sort of have specific spots I've planned out, again, on my maps, uh, where I'm able to do this. And while I was doing this on my side monitor, I did have my maps up, my planning map that I made at the start of this video, so that way I could very easily reference uh, left and right. One thing I should note is I'm not really trying to make this playable. But here we go. This is where it really speeds up, so get ready, because this part is the longest part. Right about now, I am just... We're going at breakneck speeds here, because I'm placing all the resources. I ended up, actually, after trying this out, I needed to remove some of the resources, because I put way too many. Um, I went a little bit hog wild. I put, like, I would put, instead of placing one, like, luxury resource, I'll place, like, two or three in that area and be like, oh, it's cool if they have, like, a few. And then I did that in, like, multiple places around the map with, like, each resource. And then... Uh, I got to the point where at the very end, I was like, there's way too many, but it was also pretty late at night. So I ended up going back and then fixing it. So that's what you're seeing now is you're seeing me going through and actually deleting a, a bunch of the resources because it was just way, way, way too much. Anyway, uh, that is most of my map. Just, I want to sort of give a tour because that was really fast. So I want to slow it down for a moment and give a tour. Starting down here in the bottom, you have sort of the southern corner of Brevtensa. Um, down there at the bottom right is a different country. I don't have a name for it yet. And then you've got these islands on the right, also sort of unnamed. The northern parts of Brevtensa and then Highrand here with that mound in the center being the capital of Highrand. Still Highrand all the way over here. And then the very top here is the Fluntold, which is a northern country. You have another continent over there, Hypanium minor and then this is Nosfari, the region that my players are playing in currently um, and I'm actually here's the spot where they are, have been playing for most of the time so far sort of that area with all the rivers and the swamps and things and then that is the rest of Brev Tense right there and this is the Nomensaw Sea um, it is playable there's a couple of few changes here and there that I'll be making just a sort of tweak it up a bit, especially after I play test it a couple times, um, but it should be down below. Again, this will be the rough version, and then probably later on I'll have like a better version. I do plan on making another one of these, uh, especially if people end up liking this video. I will be making probably a world map, and then one focus on a different country in my re in my world called Gallison. I really like that one. Um, this one is tiny in size, so it's built best for about four players, but honestly, with how big it is, because this is such a land-heavy map, you could play this very easily with six people, um, but I think the size limit will force you to do tiny. I'm not 100% sure. Either way, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching, everyone. Hope you have a great rest of your day. See ya. I did it. Holy shit.